Now let's discuss symmetric and asymmetric encryption. Basically, there are two types of encryption key, symmetric and asymmetric. Now symmetric encryption use single key. Symmetric means it will use the same key for encryption as well and for decryption as well. While asymmetric use two different keys. Normally we call them public key and private keys to encrypt and decrypt the data. Symmetric encryption is old techniques while asymmetric is a new techniques. Also keep in mind asymmetric take more time as compared to symmetric key. The reason is it's require two different keys while symmetric use same single key. So it means symmetric key utilize less resources as compared to asymmetric. Asymmetric key cryptography utilize more resources as compared to symmetric. An asymmetric encryption method is slower than the symmetric key definitely because this require more resources so definitely it is slower than the symmetric key encryption so if we can say that symmetric key encryption method is faster than asymmetric key this is just an example for symmetric cryptography and asymmetric cryptography So symmetric key because require only one key for encryption as well and for decryption as well. Now suppose we have two boxes for symmetric key what we will do we will put our data and we will lock this box and we will send this box to the other party. Now that person also have the same key so that person can open this box because we both have the same key and he can unlock this box. So this is called symmetric cryptography. I will show you in the lab as well. While on the other side we have asymmetric key which require two different keys. So what I can do, suppose you have an open box, you will give this open box to someone, it's like a public key and that person will put their data and will shut the upper part. It means it will lock the box. It means now he cannot open them again. The person who is authorized to open is the other person. Now he has the private key to open this box now. So there is a difference between symmetric and asymmetric. This is just for your understanding purpose. I will show you in the lab as well. So now let's discuss in more detail symmetric key algorithm use the same key for encryption and decryption. Symmetric encryption means to use the same key to encrypt the data and decrypt the data. Symmetric key also called secret key and private key cryptography. So we call them secret key, sorry, secret key and private key cryptography. It means key must be exchanged so that both data sender and receiver can access the planned data either plain text data it means both party require the same key to open it to decrypt the data and as i told you symmetric key encryption is old method and it use these techniques some of them we will do in the lab as well. DS, 3DS, AES, IDA, RC2, RC4, 5, 6, Blowfish. 
these are the example of symmetric key these algorithm use same key to encrypt the data and decrypt the data the most widely used symmetric algorithm is this one AES-128, AES-192, and AES-256. Symmetric key is extremely efficient and fast. So this is the same key. Here is a hello world. Suppose anything, you are plain text data. You encrypt the data using the same key. So now it's encrypted. Nobody can see them. And when it's reached to the other party, they will use the same key to decrypt them and they will get the plain text back. So this is symmetric encryption. And suppose this is like a lock. Suppose you have a lock. So you have the same key to lock the door and unlock the door with the same key rather than to use two different keys. So this is also one of the example of symmetric encryption. Now coming to asymmetric encryption. So asymmetrical encryption basically use two different keys. One key to encrypt the data and other key to decrypt the data. And asymmetric key we also know them by public key cryptography. So public key is made free available to anyone. Normally public key is available to anyone to send the message. While private key is the name say it is a private which only you keep them and only you know as a person. So when somebody use the public key to encrypt the data so you can use the private key to decrypt the data. It means two different keys. You can use reverse as well. Like maybe you can encrypt the data using your private key. Now anybody with public key can open them. Don't confuse yourself. Later in the course when we do certificate. So there I will tell you why we need to encrypt the data using our private key. Suppose you want to authenticate someone. So you will tell them to encrypt your data with private key. So if I open the data with your public key, so it means your public key is the correct one. But anyway, most of the time we encrypt the data using private key and then we will use, uh, sorry, public key and then we will use private key to decrypt the data. Example of asymmetric key is RSA, DH, DSA and ECC. Like an example here. These were the symmetric and these are asymmetric. Symmetric encryption is old technique while asymmetric is a new techniques. And it is slow as compared to symmetric. So here we have two keys, the same example, but here we use the same key to decrypt the data. While here, what I'm doing, I encrypt the data using this green key, which is a public key, while I decrypt them using by private key, which is a red type key here. So this is called asymmetric, either asymmetrical, encryption algorithm. So it used two different key to encrypt and decrypt the data. Keep in mind, don't confuse yourself. What is key? Key is a long number. Here we just show them that this is like a key. And this like a door key. So this time we have two different key, one in orange, one in, in blue, suppose. So one key is used to lock the, the door and another key is used to unlock the door. So the concept is different. Now let me show you in the lab, symmetric and asymmetric. So I'm using this tool, crypto tool, which you can download free and you can test yourself. So let me go to crypto tool. I already opened this one. 
there is encryption and decryption which we discussed previously okay so i choose encryption and decryption and click next so we will use the modern encryption and decryption method and click next now i have two choices symmetric encryption and decryption and asymmetric encryption and decryption and you can see a showing one key because i just told you what is symmetric which is using same key one key while here is asymmetric so it's using two different keys so let me show you symmetric first and click next symmetric using the same key to encrypt the data and decrypt and these are the example i already told you few example so let's choose aes which is advanced encryption standard and click next now i want to encrypt we already discussed two concept encryption and decryption now i use this size you can increase the size and this is the key basically so this hexadecimal number is basically a long number as key so this is the key let me write down here so this is the key to encrypt the data and this is my data suppose this is my data to encrypt it using symmetric symmetric and done so this is my message i want to encrypt using this key and click next so the data is been encrypted and this is the data nobody know what is this and let me copy this one and let me write down here so encrypted data is this one this is encrypted data now let me go back now if you receive that data what you will do let's go back and back so i'm using symmetric encryption and click next i'm using aes click next now i want to decrypt the data so i will choose other party will use decrypt now you need to know the key and you need to put this encryption encrypted data so i put this encrypted data <coughs> excuse me but i need to know the key if the key is wrong suppose i put here a and click next so it will not decrypt the data you see there is no output why because i put the wrong key i need to put the same key which i encrypt the data so i will put the same key here and click next and here you can see this is my data to encrypt it using symmetric and now is decrypted so it means i use the same key to encrypt the data and i use the same key to decrypt the data that's why this is called symmetric encryption i'm using the same key now let's do the other one asymmetric so let me go back and let me go back now this time i will use asymmetric which is using two different key public and private and there is one method rsa and click next now they are asking me three different thing encrypt decrypt and key generate first i need the keys two different keys so let me choose rsa key generator and click next now these are my keys so the first one is n which is common part of key pair these are common then this is the public and this one is the private okay so what i can do here they mention here you can see a random rsa key n n e is the public key you need to combine n and e to create a public key and you need to combine n a d to create the private key so it means let me copy this one and let me remove this one so my key is this one and plus e seven let me put seven this is my 
पब्लिक की पब्लिक की बिकॉज इट्स रिक्वायर टू कीज वाइल दिस एन लेट मी कापी दिस एन अगेन ओके एन हियर प्राइवेट की एन प्लस दिस वन दीज टू आर कंबाइनली कार प्राइवेट की सो नाउ आई हैव माई पब्लिक की विच आई विल शेयर विद एवरी वन एंड आई हैव अ प्राइवेट की विच आई विल कीप सीक्रेट दिस इज माई प्राइवेट की सो द कीज पार्ट आर डन नाउ लेट्स गो बैक टू एनक्रिप्ट सम डेटा सो लेट मी गो टू एनक्रिप्ट दिस इज वन पार्टी टू एनक्रिप्ट द डेटा हेयर दे विल पुट द एन पार्ट विच इज दिस वन and they will put the public part key pair so which is seven so this is public key of the person so i put the public key of the person and here i will put my message this is my message to every one and this is my message keep in mind so this is my message let me put this one here my plain text message here is this is just just an example okay now i want to encrypt with this public key and click next and now the data is been encrypted and this is the encrypted message which is nobody can open it so this is encrypted message now so encrypted message is done now if that guy receive this message the other person what they will do they will go to decrypt and what they will do here they will what do you think they will put this key no the person who encrypt this data he use this key but if you want to decrypt you need to use your private key put your private key here and the second part of your private key here okay and put the encrypted message here what was the encrypted message this one and now click next and now you will see the real message this is my message to everyone and you get the original message so it means this time i use two different key i use this key to encrypt the data and i use this key to decrypt the data so this is called asymmetry which is using two different key and now you know the key key is basically a long hexadecimal number which we can use to encrypt and decrypt the data so i hope so you understand what is the main difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryption